best like no one ever was to catch them is my real test to train them is my cause like i said it's, it's probably the best it's been in a while even though it's the end of the format and it's summertime so people will probably start playing less um yeah yorian i mean it's not gone in pioneer right or explore it's still there I think the most tilting part of Yorian isn't even like the blink, it's the <laughs> It's the fact that like normally when someone top decks something it's kinda tilting. But when someone top decks something in a Yorian deck where they're having where their list is way bigger <laughs> and the odds are lower. Right, 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 yeah that makes sense. Hmm. So, interesting state. Do we play around the Jawari? Yeah, I think we do. Do, 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 do. Can waste a turn. Hey, what's up, Anubis? How you been? Haven't seen you in a while. How are things? Happy Friday, by the way. Welcome back. All right, I guess we'll drop the. Hmm. I mean, I'm. I assume he's playing Jeskai, which would justify keeping the. Verse up. But he probably has a playable card. So we'll just we'll play this anyway. Chilling, good to hear. Yeah, it's uh hoping to get a nice relaxing weekend in myself. Probably hop in the hot tub after after this stream. Okay, we we take that. That is fine with me because <laughs> I can't kill him this turn. Oh, are you? Do you have you have a hot tub? Yeah, it's it was pretty hot out yesterday, but it was it was a uh, has a different impact. Like it makes it kind of cooler when you're done. You know what I mean? Like. Feels like nice when you get out. I got so I got one of the inflatable ones off Amazon. They were like three or four hundred bucks. Still not cheap, but um, definitely affordable. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Uh Chris, yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah, Nick was asking me the same thing. I don't, I don't know. I just found out about it. Like I heard about it a while ago, but um, haven't really thought too far into it. I guess. All right, so we're gonna discard two non lands to get this at six toughness to play around, burn down the house. Welcome to the chat if you are just now joining us. We're just doing either a match or two of this fire Esper list I have. Um, I think it's fire. It just has a little angel package slash then. Nothing too crazy outside of that. Everything else is pretty standard to main deck duress. Okay, yeah kind of wild that he's attacking but maybe he'll go off or not 
See, so we do have enough mana to play both of these if he counters one. Hmm. I will do it on my turn, I guess. And this will also give us an additional. Oh, we don't have. Wow. See these these mana. I swear they. It's hard to read these. Like they look like three. Um. So maybe I do have to play this as a land. That's a. That's fine. Not a big deal. It would have been a big deal if I didn't have. If I didn't have another land. Okay. Sounds good, Anubis. Thanks for coming and hanging for a little bit hopefully hopefully you make it back in it's gonna be a short stream so it won't be super long but hmm. let's see I'll, I'll play the stain flow over the emperor because before these treasures become two each and it makes it a little less dangerous okay is that game or does he have oh, okay so this looks like a last ditch effort. So he gets two mana. I have a hive. He's at five. I don't I don't think he yeah, it's game. Alright, so love the disdainful, love the duress. Get rid of the thirsts. We love Bankbuster. Yes and no. This deck's so tricky to side against. <sighs> Mainly because everything is so good against it. Like, everything I have is good against this deck. I mean, it's it's hard to tell if he's gonna bring in more negates or disdainfuls. It's kind of like a player's choice type of thing. I didn't. Is he playing white? So he's not even playing Hanada. It's just straight, is it? So yeah, I think we like the Bankbuster. Everything is so good against this deck. I like the underdog because it's a nice advantage card. I don't want to get rid of the Giada because it's one a flyer and two can ramp us on the draw, which is pretty important. We'll just go with that. Should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, I don't even know what like an is it a standard is it list looks like. I only know what the what the Jeskai Hanada looks like.
turn one duress, pretty potent. Hmm, ouch, so. Interesting. I guess we'll just go turn one, get rid of expressive, turn two, get rid of fable. Instead of the underdog and playing into the voltage surge. Hope you didn't draw a Jawari, but I don't think we pay three life to play around that potential top deck. And if he does, he's hurting on lands pretty bad. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. I have, so I'm I'm so big on getting rid of these little land cards with duress, but I think we just gotta respect the fable. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way we don't take the fable there. It's just so good. Pay three life and hope he doesn't have. Hope he once again didn't draw Jawari. Once again, very unlikely, but <laughs> how frequently it happens. Um, you just gotta respect the top deck, so you can't just assume they didn't draw it. There's no way Voltage Surge is here, right? Okay. Love. Love that. I mean, what, what does he even have? Okay, so he drew a land. And. So can't play the Kaido, don't have enough land for the Emperor, and could play the Underdog, but we're just gonna keep the we're just gonna keep the verse open. He does have to have a land or draw land, so I should technically be a little more proactive, but. I just don't want him to spam the treasure tokens. Alright, so it looks like that was like the only card he really had. Alright, so mana's good for Kaido now. Get this rolling. No stick, so he doesn't have any sort of response. Phases out. All right, we're in pretty good shape right now. Pretty good shape. All right, easy to O. Love to see it.